Hey, John here, and welcome back to an area that used to be a palace or a castle. I don't really know which one. But either way, I removed it using a quarry. As you can see, it should still be up here. But anyway, I don't really like the idea of quarries. Yeah, it's still here. Wow. Uh, don't like the idea of quarries for mining out the land for the simple reason that it destroys it like this, leaves a massive hole just there. Now it wouldn't be so bad if it was just there and didn't do anything, except expose a lot of ores. But it is a big void showing a lot of ground in a single spot, so it is lacking. Well, it could be at least. Oops. Uh, at this current time, not having any issues whatsoever, I have a solid frame rate and all, but it could potentially be a fucking disaster. Could be so bad. Could be so 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 bad. So the alternative, or alternative, depending on how well you want to say it, is quite cool. And I'll just TP home and actually instead and show you, because. There is something amazing from <coughs> sorry from mechanism. It is called the dig digital miner. I couldn't even pronounce that. But as you can see, I've already set mine to go, and yeah, the numbers on it is pretty insane. Thirteen thousand ores, and I'm saying ores quite literally, because as you can see beneath it, it's not doing anything other than poking the earth. How peculiar, isn't it? But what it's really doing is scanning the earth. It's going through down there, going through the bowels of the earth, picking up anything that I search it to pick up. In this case, I've gone into the config. It kind of hurts me to do this, but eh, I got time. I went into the ore dictionary and typed in ore and then a star, pressed saved, and it will search for all the ores that could possibly exist from this location to a massive area around it. Yeah, I believe there was max and it is. So this is absolutely insane. It's picking up anything within this vicinity. It's so freaking good. Of course, being this awesome, this thing drags on the energy. Drags? <laughs> wow, English. It swallows all energy, basically. It's really hard on your energy supply, but frankly, if you got a massive supply of energy, you wouldn't even need it. I, for example, have, as you can see, the biggest energy cube of mechanism, and, well, you can't really see them right here, but trust me when I say this, I have three platforms way up in the sky, uh, windmills, actually. Yeah, you can see it here. This our windmills and the transceiver right there. I found four, yeah, four in total from the castles I've raided over the times, and I've used those to set up the windmill at max height, or rather max efficiency height. And then I'm sending it all back here. So this machine right here, which is this transceiver, is receiving. I can't remember how much it is per second, but I believe it's extreme, cause if anything ever happens so drastically that this thing actually empties out somehow, it will immediately fill again afterwards, after that enormous power drain. I don't even know how it would do that power drain. As you can see, I've got all these machines running, and not running, but I got them set up along with a bunch of lasers back here, and I haven't been able to even touch the numbers in these two yet. So yeah, if you have the power for it, I'd recommend the digital miner any time, any day. Especially if you can link up the chest behind it, which in this case is this sorting chest, sorting of sitting chest, to your sorting system, which in my case is the applied energy, as you can see, uh, then you're good, you're golden. But I haven't really worked too much on a way to do that. I've tried and I didn't really understand it, so I have to read up on that, but that isn't really the point of this. So. Here's my last thought on the digital miner. It's absolutely great. Because you can set it up to mine with silk touch or without. Obviously, you'll want to do it with silk touch. Silk touch. 
God damn it, I can't speak. Because so many of the ores actually have some kind of benefit from being mined directly with a special tool. Having the digital mind to do it would be a waste considering it just gives well, gives the bare minimum amount of stuff you can actually acquire. And I'm not really so happy about that considering that I've got several tools that can multiply not just multiply, can really fucking go nuts with the amount of stuff I can receive per ore. Just from a single lapis ore I believe I can get nine pieces of lapis. That is excessively insane, but fun as hell for me. So I really don't like having the machine do that. I'll use machines or my tools. And the stuff I just put down, I already received more than I should have. Well, not should have, but could have. So yeah, I recommend any time, any day, using the digital miner. Right. So there's just one more thing though. Just one more thing. If you want to be more specific about what you want to mine, let's say oh, hang on a sec. Let's get this let's say you want just yeah, what should we say? Let's just say cinnabar for the fun of it. You could do that. You can just go in here, go to the config, item stack, and just put in the cinnabar ore, save that, and remove the other filters. And just press start. And now you'll see there's 144 cinnabar ores in the vicinity of this machine, or rather in the grasp, immediate grasp around this machine. But <laughs> I've got no need for them, so I'm gonna stop the machine, put it back to the ore dictionary, ore, and then I start. Save. Listen to the thunder, damn, and start. So yeah, I'm gonna let this run, collect all the materials in the immediate vicinity, and then I'm gonna be setting it up somewhere else with an ender chest linking back to here to teleport all the resources I get to this location. Plus, I think actually I can make a better system with that than I can with this thing, because I need to pump out of that chest onto the machines if I want to do something and then out of the machines into the computer and I haven't figured out a way to do that yet because my setup is a bit wonky right now because I just moved it so I need to think of a way to do that my immediate thought uh, was the cables what's the name of them export and import cables I believe I have what I need for it pre-configured well, so yeah I just need to figure out how to use them properly and uh, properly rather and then I can set up machines the way I want them. But for now, it's gonna be what it is. The digital miner is amazing. You should use it at any time, especially if you're planning on digging something out, say a quarry. This is ugly as fuck and can be laggy as fuck. So yeah, use use the digital miner if you got it. Just the last note I will come with here is how to make it. It's fairly simple digital miner and you just need these. The atomic cores are pretty easy to make. They just crush up some obsidian, some osmium and get some diamond. Rich alloys are just the usual. Some redstone with iron ingot and metallurgic infuser. And you need a robot which I already made one of earlier. Some video I believe I made earlier. Then I used that robot I used no, I made there, I mean and then I popped him into the distant miner with some of the stuff. You don't really need too much material to do this, you just need a few machines to help you along, and that is all. As you can see, most of this is just bullshit, it's so easy to make. See? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's really good. You just need enough power to make this run for a while, and you got what you need to, well, build anything, really. Okay, so that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and hopefully you'll be extremely rich very soon, just as I will be very soon. See you then.